I think it's a really great opportunity for students to be able to come and discuss this stuff because, I mean, in high school, you're, it's not even that obvious, but everybody's discriminated against. And so many people hide and conform their opinions because they're told they have to. And this is a group where you don't have to do that. here at the Heritage Panel today um, that we're having at Chelsea High School. Um, have been very impressed so far with, with what we've done so far. I think it's really important that we can get students here together, um, talk about the different issues that we face here at Chelsea and everywhere. Um, sometimes these issues aren't necessarily brought to light and it's nice for us all to sit down um, with a diverse group of students to talk about different experiences so that um, all students can see each other's unique take on, uh, on life and life here at school and the different uh, challenges we face. My favorite thing about Heritage Panel is the two-day training is dynamic. The facilitators are masterful with their facilitation and knowledgeable about the topic of discrimination and bias. Our students have a very meaningful and transformative experience in the two-day training. I enjoyed today because it was really fun. I learned how different ethnic groups t come together and the diversity in it. And I just really like how we can be open-minded about stuff. I really enjoyed it. It's been really fun. I think it's a good experience for anybody. My experience today with the Heritage Panel was good because of the fun and information you learn about it. Like, about all the racism and all about who's targeted and who's not targeted, who's dominant. I feel that's a great topic because in school we bottle so much stuff up and so I feel like it's a great outlet and Heritage Panel will give you that voice that you wouldn't have if you were sitting in the classroom by yourself or alone. And so I think it's a great group of diverse people that can help you express your opinion without being judged. But when you get good dialogue, uh, it's, just, it's just really powerful when kids hear the stories from the other kids and see how just, just different things from clicks to, to prejudices to how people realize that you know, hey, that, that person is more similar to me than I really realized that they were. I love being around the kids. I love being able to hear their stories and to see them take a leadership role and, and become very prideful of their schools. Um, and it's okay if people disagree with you because it's people recognize that it's from their background that they have a certain opinion. And so it's really great to be able um, to talk to other students that realize having different opinions is okay and that it's okay to share the actual opinion that you do have. This really opens the avenue for other students to be able to feel like they can come out and talk about what's going on with them. And it just gives them a chance to uh, express their emotions. I would take what I have learned from Heritage Panel to college because it's still a group of social people and so what we learn here I could take it to groups in college to help me better have better relationships and study with other people and be very social and know how to not cross boundaries with other people. And by having these conversations it allows for them to learn more about one another, to have greater compassion for one another. With that comes support and inclusiveness and openness and um, a kinder, gentler student body.